Hey guys and welcome to a new pen to film tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Macy's DRT which is a drum replacement tool. It's a free plugin or you can pay for a version which has a lot more features included but for what I want to do and what we're going to do in this tutorial it fits the bill perfectly. Say you have a session and the drummer has used a trigger on his kick drum. This could either be because his kick drum sounds crap or he was too lazy to tune it and just put a trigger up. Either one, I don't really mind with this plugin. It's a really simple fix and at least and then I can choose the sound of his kit. So here we have a kick trigger which sounds like this. Yep, it just clicks and ticks. That's it. So from this, we're actually going to extract a MIDI data and use a MIDI note sequence to activate our own kick. Simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Audio Suite, Macy, and then Macy's DRT. You can download this from their website, links in the description. It's free or you can pay for a version which has some more features. So let's go ahead and open this. Now what we want to do is select our audio track and hit analyze in the program. So when that's finished analyzing you'll see we have, it's not just one flat line which you would get if you use Pro Tools Beat Detective. You get varying velocities which match the peak level of the audio track. You can also adjust the loudness or the sensitivity with these sliders on the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this mini drag and drop and just drag it down so it matches the beginning of the track. That's into an instrument track, simple, done. So now let's mute our kick trigger and solo our kick. Now with this instrument track I've loaded up contact 5 with big mono from analog drums. So if we hit play You can hear our kick. And if I unmute the kick trigger, you'll hear that they match up perfectly. And if I double click on this MIDI file, you'll see that it has velocities down here and it's all in time with the track. So it's as easy as that to use Macy's DRT. Now if you're using Cubase or any other program that doesn't use RTAS plugins, don't worry, there are some free VST drum replacement plugins out there. In fact, there's a lot more VST drum replacement plugins than there are for Pro Tools. This is probably the only decent RTAS plugin available for Pro Tools. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe above, comment below and thumbs up the video if you think I did a good job. And also remember that I have a website, pendafilm.com. You will find all the tutorials I've put on YouTube up on this website, including some more behind the scenes stuff as well as other tutorials relating to other subjects like web design Photoshop shop, CS6 stuff and things like that. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something. Goodbye.